All right, now let's move this window over here. Ah! Uh, there it goes. I was gonna say click and drag isn't dragging. It's not a good sign, but whatever. Okay, so how's our audio here? Very good, All right? Scroll down, you silly. Scroll down and bounce back up. What the hell? Okay. Hello, Wesker. How you doing? There we be. Stream up. Whoop, those are percentages. There's my happy face. Okay. Hi, good buddy. How you doing? Okay. Give me a minute. I, I got a thing to do here. Stop. Stop. Oh my god, seriously, stop it. Down you go. There you go. Okay. So, there we be. Now this should... Yep, very responsive thing working there. I do need to refresh the page so my stream timer will actually go on, because I'm late. I'm late! I'm so late to streaming! Ah, whatever. Okay, so that's going... Right. What? Hi. Come here, then. You're gonna sit here, sit here. Oh, boy. Welcome back, lovelies, to Let's Play The Sinking City with me, Sullivan and Graves, and Wesker. Yes. Gonna be nice and adorable for a bit, but I gotta do stuff, okay, buddy? Alright, now! Here's hoping. Ah, oh, there's my timer, finally. Here's hoping that uh, the signal strength actually stays. Okay. Whoa! That is really cool. I know it's probably not supposed to do that, but... Oh my goodness! It's like somebody set the uh, day-night cycle to hyperspace. Or hyperspeed. Okay, uh, enough out of all of that. First things first, we have a knowledge point. So, let's go ahead and add uh, more bullets for us. More Shogun shells. Yeah, that sounds great. Wait, what's this? There, one more grenade and Nah. That will do. All right. Now... Yeah, we do not have any gunpowder. I went back and forth for a while, but uh, I have other games that I like to play as well, unfortunately. So I was only able to get about this much for right now. But that's fine. At least the game gives us the option of... Uh, doing the item duplication glitch, where we just gather, gather some ingredients. That's cane, dude. Anyway, uh, we gather up some ingredients, and then save, load that save, and we miraculously have more than we started with. Now, let's see what we can do here. Led to death. What's going on here? What is going on? Well, there's a wild beast right there in the corner, so obviously <sighs> something's going bunch. on. Also, I apologize for being so incredibly late to uh, streaming today. For whatever reason, I thought I normally streamed like an hour from now, as opposed to right now, or like 20 minutes ago. So, that is entirely my bad. Um, hang on. The, uh, the KKK is prominently downstairs there. But what's upstairs? <sighs> the door won't budge. Okay, the door's locked. Fantastic. That means that I don't have to go that way. And that's absolutely delightful for me. 
Hi! Oh, boy. Ow. Ha! I know how to deal with you this time. Ow. There we go. Nope, not that. Heal up. Remember, my bones are made of paper, so... Austerity. That is a human face. It's just split down the middle and turned into that. That is really interesting. Anyway. Now that we took care of that, we'll reload. Grab, uh... Go ahead and reload that as well. And we'll hold on to this. This one is fully reloaded, so that's good. <laughs> the Nazis called. They want their badge back. Okay. Uh, let's see. That is one bloody cross and some fresh embers. Something bad happened here. Is that you, Ulrich? Wait. No. Is it? Ah, blow you up. I think I made that joke before. I still can't remember the name. The, the name just escapes me. Ah, more gunpowder. Nice. Okay. You know... Wait, no. No. It takes three gunpowder to make a uh, shotgun shell. And I feel... Pretty darn safe with the shotgun. Hi! Uh. Oh, no. How do I. Oh, triangle. Oh, hello! Let me just jump right into your, uh. abdomen. You look Hi. like you've been run over, pal. What happened? What does it look like? It was that damned prisoner. Evernote Blackwood? You mean Evernote, the preacher? I don't know. We didn't exchange business cards. One of the order. <laughs> then I'm just a guard. I need a rest. And a stiff drink. Right. So, you're just a guard, and whenever they dragged in a, a guy kicking and screaming, your immediate thought is, uh, Aha! Get him! As opposed to, like, who is that guy? Why are you dragging him into a basement? Why are you tying him up to a giant wooden cross and probably trying to burn him alive? Oh, wait! That's right! You're a member of the Triple K. Which just... <laughs> I forgot who it was. Uh, one of those comedian uh, newscaster late night dudes were like... Brought up the KKK in lieu of Triple A. As like a, a a car dealership, it's like, oh god, no. It was hilarious at the time, but I can't remember what the joke was. Nah, eh, whatever. <sighs> and for those who think that the KKK cannot be made fun of, there is no humor to be had in such things. They are like the Nazis. I will happily remind you that Iron Sky exists, and that movie is bloody hilarious. Excuse me. Coming through. I've still yet to see the sequel, though. The, just, the concept alone. Just picture this. The moon base, the Nazi moon base, has been taken care of. The world, again, is safe at last. And then back on Earth, we realize, oh no, Hitler has risen with a zombie army while riding a T-Rex. Just like, nothing about this can be good, which makes it amazing. <laughs> I have to see it. I wonder if it's on Netflix. Anyway, uh, who's in charge here? So is there anyone around here who knows what's going on? Go ask the wizard. 
Upstairs. The wizard? Is it, him? Is it getting dark in here? You deserve this. You're pretty hurt. Well, I mean... All of the things you've done and you never questioned it. Come on now. But at least we can deliver his, like, judgment of you are evil while wearing this snazzy pinstripe suit. That is nice. You brought this on yourself when you joined the clan. Mayor, take you. Okay. It's getting cold. Hold me closer, Red. It's getting dark. <laughs> okay. Hey, what? Hit. Wait a minute. Wow, that was really hard to see. All right, what else we got back here? Let's see what we got. That dude's probably gonna make a speedy recovery and try and destroy us. Which all things considered, he probably w well, maybe he won't. Hang on. We do still have a shotgun shell. It's not really going to do as much good. That's a nice little table. What the hell was that? Hello. Oh, this is an Evernote. <laughs> and thus, I should not bother looking at the body any further. Okay. Um. Hey, quit jumping on the body! You goof! What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's a heck of a climb there. Hello? I come in peace. EOD is bad. Heidi hoodie! Ollie, Ollie, step out where I can shoot you. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah! Oh, this leads back to this area. Okay, cool. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Well, at least we got some more. Oh, wait! Now that we got that gunpowder coupled with the ones that we had before we now have four or no do we have four yes four things of uh, gunpowder nice so we can make one shotgun shell or two of the uh revolver shots i think i may actually just go for the shotgun actually if i'm being honest it may work out the best for us all right so we got that. Oh, wow. This bathroom has more space than my bathroom. That is sad. Anyway, uh, moving along here. What do we got? The KKK orders. Evernote Blackwood is behind on his rent. There have been enough warnings. I have no idea what voice this is. Enough warnings. Send men to make an example of his operation. Make it look good for the newspapers. They all. They are fish faces after all. P.S. See what he was do. Uh, what he was up to while you're at it. If Blackwood's trustworthy, I'm gosh darn Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Gosh darned. Funny how that comes up again. So I was watching this video. It just randomly popped up video from seven months ago. But uh, this YouTuber na by the name of uh, Bert Bot. One word, just Bert Bot. And it was just a little snippet, like 20 seconds of The Lord of the Rings. But 
with the Urukai's voices redubbed as just regular dudes. And that was some of the funniest 20 seconds. Because the... What was it? They they discovered... One of the leaders, they discovered the uh, scent of the... Uh, of the humans, the... Ooh, that was some good stuff in that one, actually. And some rags! Nice! I don't know what I'm going to use those for, but cool. So we can make a single battle rifle round. I think I shall. Make a little bit more of this, and a little... And let's keep making some more! Alright! Holy crap, I got more suited up from this one house than I did the entire time trying to get things done with the glitch. That's that's funny. But anyway, uh there we are. Go ahead and reload our stuff here. But yeah, it has the uh What is it? What do you smell? Man flesh it has that scene, but just as regular people, so it's like, man flesh. <laughs> and some of the orcs in the distance are going, oh no, oh gosh darn it. <laughs> There's something really special about an orc going, gosh darn it. Wait, did I? Hang on. I didn't even begin! Alright. Let's take a closer look at things then. Actually, let's drop back down. Not all the way in one fell swoop, you idiot! Goodness. Alright, so we got that going for us. Right. So that is going up there. But now we've like pass beyond the veil. We don't... Where the hell are the other secrets? Also, what is going on? Aha! The bathroom! The ultimate secret! Okay, there's bloody nothing in here. Hmm. Why? Here we go! There's the... There's the mysterious graffiti of eldritch knowledge that I know and love so well. Okay. That, it, no joke, actually. That I really... Whoa. Whoa! We are getting a hell of a pulse in that direction. Let's go upstairs, shall we? I thought the upstairs door was locked, though. The door yeah, it is. Glitch. Yeah! Awesome! That did nothing. Okay. Let's see... Maybe we can't track down some kind of special surprise around here. A, a secret wall or something. Actually, this is pretty darn suspicious in and of itself. Looks like a, a Throgmorty version of the uh, KKK. Probably some kind of symbolism going on there. But I'm not sharp enough to put two and two together. Oh my god! Everything's curved! Get out of fisheye mode, would ya? Alright, um... Right, it's definitely in this room. The bird is heading out this way. Now things are normal. Wait, wait, here we go. So you're flying this way. No. Or you're... You're staying in... Bird! What are you doing? What are you trying to lead me to? Maybe it's a proximity thing? Because I'm close to the... What's it up there? Hmm. Well, not that. Honestly, I think the bird is freaking circling. Hmm. Aha! Okay, so I, I already looked at the letter. Oh, wait a minute! 
Duh! Right there! There's a giant hole in the ceiling! Alright! Now- Whoa! What is that written with? Did someone come in here? Wait, no, that's very much red. Okay, so... That's a lot of burnt cinders for a candle. That is not normal. Oh, most definitely not. There's probably a cream for it, but I would not expect the uh, denizens of this particular city to be uh, on the up and up with uh, Preparation H, if you know what I mean. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. Oh my god, what is that? It does. Oh no! That's so bad. What? Ow. Take that! Ha ha! Eat physics! <laughs> you suffer the ultimate defeat of ragdoll physics. Getting caught between two objects. Okay, now. That is a hell of a shot. It's like... It appears this uh, creature was shot to the heart with a harpoon. And it killed him dead. So that's good. Oh, hello. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Look at these things. Someone's way too fond of causing pain. Or maybe they just like having their tools close by. No, no, you're probably right. It's probably torture. The confession. I, Evernote Blackwood, am innocent. My only goal is to save the city from its descent into madness and ensure the safety of Harriet Doe. Well, at least we got a direct connection to uh, the person we've been trying to find all this time. Now maybe we can figure out where the hell the... Uh, expedition went, where it went wrong, and any particular in-betweens that we can possibly track down. Yeah! Nope! You, sir, can screw off! I'm going over here. Oh, I can only hold two shots at once. I forgot, it's a shotgun. I already checked that, didn't I? Yes. Uh, darn it. Oh, my! Hi. God! I wonder what Rob Zombie taught us. Reload! There we go. Alright, piece of cake. Now switch back to that. Oh, hello! Hey, little buddy, how you doing? A little tired, I see. That's to be expected. You've had a long day. Don't worry. Just lie down. Just lie down there and think about what you've done. Did he? Oh. Did he, like, knock over a... Whatever the hell this thing is. Is that, like, another... Dresser? Like, a shelf thing? Hmm. They definitely held their own. Hopefully, it was Blackwood that was able to do all of that. Though I am a, a bit worried if he was also one who would uh, summon these creatures here. Now, granted, I don't think he did. They may have just followed him. Oh. Oh. It's just an absolute bloody bloodbath in this uh, blood mansion. Hello. Yeah. The door won't budge. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> okay, so we got that going for us. Maybe we'll get. Maybe we'll strike out really lucky. And. Ah, 
าแจ็คแมนแล้วโอ้โหจ้าแล้วไปรูนักนี้มิจ้าเอาไปกันเอาไปเฮ้ย you can't just waltz in here this club is off limits to non-members especially you damn newcomers ah who am I kidding the club is a blasted war zone I've got wounded here and we're all on edge who are you anyway Charles Reed private investigator I'm looking for one of your recent guests Right, you mean that bloody preacher from the fish market? This is all his fault. He was the one who summoned those beasts. Yeah, the beasts that are like right behind me, I can actually see one sneaking around my ankles. You might want to just kind of move this along so we can get that I can get out of the way and maybe get some cover and get some help. Things are happening. But do tell, how did he summon them? Summon them? <laughs> You're kidding. How did he pull that off? Pull that off? Do I look like some rotten fish-faced warlock to you? How should I? No, you look like a guy with a brain. And all in all that commotion, he escaped. All right. Ah, there we go. So you're talking about Evernote? Oh my goodness, we're. We're experiencing psychotic uh, sanity effects in a cutscene. That's a hell of a Was thing. Is the preacher's name Evernote by any chance? That's the one. Oh God, our eyes. We've been hunting down that slimy drock for weeks. Well, that seems like a lot of trouble to go to. And why bother? What's so special about him? He's a pain in the ass, is what? <laughs> that man doesn't have any respect <laughs> for the way things are done around here. All right. Oh my God! It's right behind me. The most terrifying conversation ever. How did he wrong you, sir? This should be good. <laughs> so what did he do to cross you exactly? Look around. This place is crawling with wild beasts. It's obvious he's up to no good. Would never have known a thing about it if he wasn't behind in his damned rent. Rent. He was behind on his rent, so you sent the KKK members after him to uh, rough him up a bit. That, that's it? Really? Uh. Now let's not get on this guy's bad side just yet. What do you mean, rent? <laughs> rent? Oh, don't tell me you jokers are landlords now. It's no joke. You know how it is. Reed Heights, Advent, Old Grove. Dangerous places without the right kind of protection. <laughs> protection money! Oh, that's one of the oldest tricks in the book. If I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like a protection racket to me. Your words, not mine. Besides, our group's got to get funding somehow. Robes and ammunition aren't cheap. <laughs> oh boy, we're starting to... We're losing it! Oh, where did he go? Let's see where he went. Which way did he go, George? With money, he went back to his hideout. I'll go after him, but I have to take care of my wounded men first. So, you gonna tell me where he is? It's your life, buddy. The scouts I sent after him never came back. Okay. And who exactly are you? Who exactly are you? <laughs> You're addressing the Imperial Wizard Gordon Mayer, newcomer. Show some damn respect. Not a chance. All right, show me a magic trick. Oh my goodness! I think I'm dealing with enough of magic trick right now as it is. Oh, a wizard like Houdini. Yeah, show me a magic trick. What the drug did you just say to me? <laughs> a magic trick! Come on, Come you're on. a wizard, Harry. Let's do it. I pull a rabbit out of a hat. Or Maybe a hood would be more appropriate. That's enough out of your kisser, you little weasel. Oh boy! Ow! <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> oh, that was great. 
<laughs> That's like in Fable, or not Fable, uh, Far, not Far Cry either. Fallout. Uh, it's like in Fallout whenever you just keep taking the sarcastic option, which of course I did. Oh goodness, that was hilarious. <laughs> Pull a wizard out of a hat. Come on now, you know you want to. I'll tell you. <laughs> but seriously, uh, maybe this time I'll take care of the enemies around me so we're not like completely drained of our uh, sanity gauge by the time we get to move again. Herba. Also, hopefully he doesn't take us through that entire conversation again. That was a lengthy one. Anyway. Come on, let's go. 90%. I'm ready! If this will just... There we go. Alright. Oh, no! Huh? What? All evidence collected. I have my doubts. Where am I? Is that the Iraq? Way down there! Give me just a second, I've got to do a thing. I'm out of health kits. Well, that's not good now, is it? Alright, let's take what we have, reload it. Alright, that'll do. Okay, you know what? I think we're good. Things green, all evidence collected, so there's literally nothing we can gain out of going back aside from being shot at again, so. Wait. Blackwood Doe correspondence. He talked to Professor Drowe about the nature of her visions. Blackwood and the Professor. Insisted he wanted to save the city and said the professor would help him do it. Blackwood wants to save the city from madness, or so he says, and Harriet Doe is essential to his plan. Delightful. Cool. Uh, that does not help me. One savior, the EOD is dangerous. Yeah, it doesn't connect at all. Okay. Uh, casebook. The confession... Aha! The hideout's address. A clan member told me Evernote ha uh, Blackwood has a hideout in Western Grimhaven Bay. He did not tell us that on Deep Shore Road between Skipper Road and Marsh Avenue. He did not say that. A clan the clan sent scouts there, but they never returned. He did say that, but goodness. Okay, Grimhaven Bay. That's this, right? Yeah. Western Grimhaven Bay. Deep Shore Road, huh? Ah, here's Deep Shore. Between Skipper and Marsh. Oh, there's Marsh. Where's Skipper? Aha! There's Skipper. There's Marsh. And here's Deep Shore. So, there we go. Alrighty! Now, let's find ourselves a little teleporty thingy. the hell happened over here? Don't you know you're not supposed to drive during a calamity? Goodness, what is that? One, two, three, four car pile up, huh? This the one on the side only lost a door. Sheesh. Alright, now, let us not immediately go to Grimhaven Bay. Well, actually, I think... Eh, we're right on the cusp of it. But we gotta go back to Devil Reef. We gotta get our old Plague Doctor outfit back, because I love that thing. And also... We gotta get us some healing. And quite a few healing. We need to be ready. So... On screen here, I'm going to go ahead and do the little trick that I've been doing up to this point to get more ammo and such and refill all of our all of our uh, health kits. That's it. I know what I'm doing. Nothing to worry about. 
kind of funny though how getting shot and killed actually managed to pull us ahead in the long run. We, we avoided a boss fight, we gathered all clues in the area, gained information that we didn't actually get access to, and also managed to get outside the building nice, safe, and sound. All right, now, let's go ahead and save. We are really making some progress now, which probably means that we're going to either encounter some eldritch monstrosity that will completely level us, or we will gain some forbidden knowledge or whatever that makes us pass out anyway, and we'll wake up back at our apartment here. Whatever. Whichever one comes first. I mean, we fought Manta Rock from Eternal Darkness, so... And we killed it, I think. So, we got that much going for us. Which, all things considered, I kind of like thinking that, uh, that mouth of Manta Rock, the... What do they call it? The fecund mother. I like thinking that that orifice that was there in the ground, that was just spewing forth badness. I like to think that underneath the city, there's like a, an, a sort of octop... Imagine an octopus uh, tentacles wrapping the underbelly of the city, but instead of the... <clears throat> excuse me. Instead of the uh, suckers on the, uh, the arms the tentacles, it's those mouth things. And there's just like millions of them all over the city and that was just one. <laughs> what could we possibly do to fight something of that gargantuan size and just immeasurable... Oh, there's the... He wasn't in his usual spot here. I was like, wait, something's wrong. The NPCs didn't load. No, they were just slightly to my right. Oh, well, that's fine. Anyway, while we're here, go ahead and grab us the gunpowder treason and plot that we got going on over here. As well as another one of these. There we go. Oh, wait. Go ahead and use that first, then teleport. God, it's really telling that even though we have a health gauge, we effectively have four hearts, don't we? Oh, boy. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's do this. Mm. This will be the last time. We won't actually have any health uh, items with us, but... Maybe we'll get lucky and the game will be nice and provide us some uh, first aid kits on the way. Here's open. Another thing I was hoping is I hope we re-encounter uh, our good old buddy Haster again. He... Eh, his first introduction, the King in Yellow, he was a guide. It was subsequent iterations that turned him into a incredible, immeasurable force of pure evil. I'm not too sure what this version of him is going to be. Probably both, though. Because he starts out as, Welcome to Oakmont, sir. Good to see you. I've been expecting you. And treats us to a nice hotel room and even helps get us back every now and then. He's got to have a more impactful part of the story, but I just can't place him just yet. But soon, I am certain. Though it is kind of funny that he appears uh, before us. Just saying, good old Mr. Reed here doesn't exactly seem the uh, 
the artistically creative focused sort, which is the type that the king in yellow actually goes after. Oh, I do like that outfit, though. Ah, screw that. that. That's better than all. Delightful. Okay, let's just go ahead and go. Let's see where we can go to that little spot out by Grimhaven Bay. Wait a minute. Are there any closer locate? Oh! Oh, look at that! Not! And get us right there! Awesome! Yes! Okay, so, we got that. Could we actually get to the place where we be needing to go if Evernote Blackwood actually summoned the, uh, here we go. If he actually summoned the Wild Beasts, we may be in a bit more of a tussle. And I think I'm going to go ahead... Oh, we got a knowledge point. I'm going to have to test that with an enemy lair. We go to an area that has a... Even just one enemy. That will do. We fight one single enemy and... If we kill it, get the experience points for it, save, load, and appear right outside of that enemy base, I'll double check the experience points. If that works like the items, we may have a new way to actually power level and get every single one of these, which could be really good for us. Now, let's go ahead and get more experience from all sources, just so we can have that maxed out and really be able to take it to these guys. Okay, we got some stuff! Let's put that, put that, and, um... Oh, good. Nice! Thank you, game. Actually, let me save that. There we be! All right, now let's find us an Evernote. I got those guys were nice and peaceful, no problem there. No entry, private property. All right, I guess they mean it. Um. Aha! Here we go. Ding dong! Ah, oh, loading screen. Uh... I have a feeling bad things are here. Wait, what was that one? It looked like some kind of tentacle. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's just one of you guys. Le bang! Hey, where's my gun? Oh boy. Oh, we're fine. Okay. Okay. Alright. I mean, you could have just filled the place with those enemies and we'd get the same sort of reaction. Oh, boy! Take that! All right. None can face the wrath of antipsychotic needle thingy. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. It smells like fish soup. Nom nom. All right. Oh, delightful! Everything's covered in goo. Ooh! But that looks delicious! Alright. At least this guy knows how to barbecue. And he already set up food. Yo, Blackwood! Were you expecting me? I wanna pop out from the shadows and, uh... Deep Shore Soup Kitchen. All welcome! Yeah, this place is not abandoned. It
Guano de poison? Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, smells a few days old. There's enough food in here to weather a siege. Hmm. That's probably the idea, actually. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, right. Oh, here we go. There we go. Guess his next move is one of these. Oh, no! We got... Ah, jeez. That's all of Oakmont, right? Okay, so we got, like... One in Reed Heights, one in Advent, one in, uh... Wherever the hell that far place is. Ah, oh, jeez. It's really spread out. Hi! Give me a minute. I'm still exploring here. Huh. Smells like fish soup. I imagine a lot of stuff in this place smells like fish soup. Just saying. Hello? Crumpled, but clean. Someone's been here recently. Could it be Blackwood? Come on, Evernote. I'm a huge fan of your brother, cousin's, uh, nephew's former roommate, Algernon. Come on. <laughs> Gotta be something here. Crumpled, but clean. Someone's been here recently. Okay, if there's two of those, then one's uh, Evernote and the other's Professor Harriet. No. So we got that far. That's good to know. Ooh, what's this? What the devil? Join us! Huh. Somebody likes to lecture. By golly, there's actual words there. Hang on. Okay, that page is reversed. This one's forward. Let's see what we got going on here. He had asked of her such a simple basic task and she failed him. She checked her watch, 25 minutes late already, and she still had two more shore shops to visit and then a 15 minute walk even later, but returned without the last of the items on her list or should or should she pick up what she needed but be more than an hour she clutched her heavy bags and rushed to the last goodness it's like an actual story from a book there i'm not gonna bother reading the rest of it it's too tiny to strain my eyes as it is but oh well it's pretty cool though Weird that it won't actually let us just read it normally. Anyway, moving on. Let's see what we got downstairs in the mystery... What? Oh. The mysterious basement of... Of pig land. And rotting fish. Delightful. It was a surprisingly bronzed up pig, gotta say. Huh? Wait a minute. That can't be right. It wanted me to go down here. Whoa. Come on, that looks like a portal. Oh. That's a thing. Open up, you. Heidi hoodie. Oh, go away, hallucination. Ding dong. Oh, great. More clansmen. Black, bleep, black. Throat slit. Clean. Throat slit. Clean. Delightful. You know what's not clean? That. Anyway. Oh, 
Okay, so our, so there's some dead clansmen in here, but what good does that do me? Hmm. Ah, that's what's going on. We've gotten all the clues then. Now, it's time to put them together. Open up memory. Let's see what we got here. Here, into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the others. Into the sea. Interesting. That would be a clever escape route to take. Hide Harriet Doe amongst the sea where the, uh... It is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Oh dear. Is that Evernote? He's sounding a little culty now. Oh dear. Methinks he's not going to be as forthcoming as I thought he would be. How do I get out of here? Okay, so maybe that one, and then the second floor, and then the basement, I'm guessing? Let's find out, shall we? Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Time to figure this out. Oh, all right. So this one, then the top one. Finish off the then interlopers. The they no longer Possibly. matter. I'll see you all upstairs. He gives his grand speech. It is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the order. And then the plan and of what to do afterward. Into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead. While I speak with the others. Ah, crap. My bad. Uh, from the bottom up, then. So they take care of the interlopers. Finish off the interlopers. They discuss no the start matter. of their plan. I'll see you up here, into the sea. And I then address the crowd. To take this journey. Go on ahead. It is right. time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Blackwood's going after him. All right. Doe. Took a small army with him. Just need to figure out where he went. Well, no problem. Let's figure that out. Get out of my face, hallucination of me dying. There we go. Guess his next move is one of these. Delightful. Need to work out where he went. Well, let's enter the mine palace and see what we can find here. Into the sea. Evernote told his men they go into the sea, whatever that means. Markings on the map. Found a marking with several locations marked on it. Which one is in the sea? Aha! Evernote took his men into the sea. Only one spot on the map is on the coast, the one in Western Salvation Harbor, at the end of Pembroke Lane. Yes! One for one. All right. One savior. Evernote has studied a number of occult texts where the one savior has been a recurring theme. Here again, another one of those hallucinations. The order knew about Harriet's hallucination been stalking him for the time. Are these connected? No. Any of these? No. Aha! Here we go. EOD needs Harriet. The Order is planning something dangerous, and Harriet is instrumental to, her, to their plans. She's also female, and the Esoteric Order of Dagon kinda has this thing of uh, making sure that their species can procreate. And, uh, that might not bode well for Harriet. Just saying. Alright, Blackwood has a plan. He wants to save the city from, the ma from madness, or so he says. Harriet Doe is essential to his plan. He hates the EOD, most definitely. So his plan is not going with Dagon. 
but he is also summoning monsters, quite literally summoning monsters, that much is clear, and uh, doing a hostile takeover. He might be more fun. He may be a uh, more Cthulhu type thing, so maybe we can get to Kachuchu out of this. That'd be fun. That's always cool. All right. At the end of Pembroke Lane. Time for a dive. Delightful. Okay. Uh, Salvation Harbor, Pembroke Lane. Pembroke Lane. Where is Pembroke Lane? Fisher Street. Western Salvation Harbor. So it is over on this side. Pembroke Lane. Ah, there we go. And that's the end of Pembroke Lane right there. All right. Let's venture forth. All right. Well, excuse me. Uh oh, hang on. We got a, another thing on the map. This, get out of here. Any other blue things on the map that'll distract me and confuse me? No, delightful. All right, let's press onward. And I think... We can get there really quick, but... Yeah, that'll be a little quicker. Get right up next to the Seven Oaks. That'll work. First, I was thinking maybe hey, we'll just go there ourselves, but nah. It's a bit of a distance. So, we can take care of that, no problem. Oh man, we're at 57 minutes and the the stream hasn't crashed. I'm amazed. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> the last thing you want to hear in battle is the click of an empty gun. Ain't that the truth? All right. Now, let's see. Straight ahead. Delightful. Man, the rain texture is yeah, really good, but I keep imagining how much better. Like, this type of stuff is revolutionary. I get out of the water. Where's my little boat? Wait a minute. Oh, not this way, that way. Anyway. What was it? Uh, on the PS3, Metal Gear Solid 4 came out, and that was beyond the scope of expectations for a long time. It's still fantastic. Nowadays, we have incredible visual fidelity on the PS4. Hi! How you doing? Oh, that's bad. Excuse me. Coming through. Just need to go, go this way for a sec. Don't mind me. Get all over this thing. And hop down. Ha, ah, you kick. There was never a doubt that we would make it out through the area there. I will say one tiny little detail about this game. We have harpoons there. We could have pulled a Resident Evil 4 and had like some kind of water monster, but apparently not. Uh, excuse me. What was that? Oh, yay! That's the big old symbol of the EOD. They hate me. What luck. All right. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I am very much looking forward to the, uh... Oh, here we go. I'm looking forward to the PS5 and the just sheer amount of graphical improvement that we can get on that. And then finding the millions of games that'll come out for it that are just utter crap. This is a bad idea. But don't worry, we have a loading screen to get through first. 
And I actually only have five minutes left! Oh, no! Alright, so... Do I end here and we press on in the next one and get thoroughly terrified? I do... Oh, oh, oh! That's encouraging! Hi. But you're not gonna... You're not gonna remark about this. There is a dead body there! Whatever, fine. Okay, so... Where's my... No, not that. Uh... There we go. That thing is the opposite of impressive. Okay. Mostly just kind of looking up to see if we can already see our good old giganto squid-like buddy. I don't see him, but I also do see him in everything that I'm looking at! Oh my god! Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to uh, end this here. Just look at the screen. Ah, oh, there we go. Actually it works out quite well. Hang on. Kind of face this way and then turn. Oh, darn it, I wanted... Whatever, it's fine. So! Oh, this is going to be fun. Thank you all for watching. This, of course, has been Let's Play Soma. I mean, let's face it, right? No. Uh, the Sinking City with me, Selene Graves. I should get Soma again. Just to explore. Oh my god! And I completely spaced. Amnesia Rebirth is out, I think. I think it came out today. I, like, need to double check that uh, real quick on the... PlayStation Store. I hope it's there. It's probably not. More than likely it's going to be uh, PC only because PC Master Race. We don't like other people playing video games. Uh, screw you, uh, PlayStation. Screw you, uh, Microsoft. Screw you, Nintendo. God. Yes, games are more impressive on PC because you can take a piece out and put in a five billion dollar graphics card and say, hey, even Tetris looks amazing now. I was born with this. So, uh, I'm a little bit partial, I guess, but uh, I just really like having a, a gaming dedicated device that can play whatever I plug into it. And in this particular case, that being a PlayStation. Funny enough, used to be Xbox. All the way! I love my uh, my old 360. Which I, I believe my dear sweet Raven Lord actually has my 360, which is awesome. He is just beautiful in every way. Taking care of my systems like that is awesome. Anyway, uh, but yeah, after trying out the Xbox One and getting like thoroughly disappointed, switched over to PlayStation and ain't been back since. Though the 360 did have a better indie scene, or at least better way of getting indie games. Anyway, I'm rambling on long enough. Uh, but yeah, note to self, definitely look for uh, Amnesia Rebirth, because I am going to stream that if I can. Because we streamed Amnesia The Dark Descent. We streamed Amnesia the, the Justine. We streamed Amnesia Machine for Pigs. Why not go for the fourth one and complete the, uh, the... What is a trifecta with four things? It wouldn't be quadfecta. That doesn't make any sense. Quattrofecta, maybe? Completing the cube? I don't know. I'll have to look that up later. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I, of course, am Celine Graves, and I will catch you in the next one. Later. Ah, oh, boy.
Nightmares await. 